Good day! Thank you for joining me for another episode of Atari 8-Bit Gameplay. This is a new game to me. Um, I guess given the time frame of it, 2007, that shouldn't be a huge surprise. Uh, although I've been playing Atari things on emulation for the last... 25-ish years? Maybe not quite that long. Um, I don't think... Uh, well, I'm sure I've never seen this game before. So anyway, it's a public domain game. Um, going off the file name and also going off that little bit there about the uh, LGPL, which is a copyright statement. Uh, I won't go into... Uh, I won't go into any details about what copy left and uh, the GPL is, or the LGPL for that matter. But, that's what it means. Uh, the company is Bactra, or the individual is Bactra. Caverns of the Lost Miner from 2007 guide the miner through 13 dangerous caves. Stay alive and collect all diamonds in each cave. Alrighty then, start to start game, C to start... C doesn't do anything, probably because I haven't played any. D to set difficulty. We play normal. Start. Alright, we will... I will assume that... Looking around the screen here. Lives. I'm not sure what that bit on the, the little square on the right would be, or right two-thirds over it on the bottom there. Uh, so those must be diamonds. Do you, how do you jump? Uh, button. Oh, there we go. Oh, what's that? Collapsing floors, I guess. Oh. <laughs> Don't mistime your jumps, or you die. I guess there's no reason to... I'm not sure if there's a visual way to... Whoops, can't go up ramps, I guess. I'm not sure if there's a visual way to tell if the floor is going to be a collapsing floor. Other than that it's... shit. Other than it starts collapsing, obviously. So, I have a total of, I'm going to say, two lives left. This seems like it shouldn't be too hard, but... Oh, man. And yet, I'm still getting used to the controls, obviously. And it's not bad, it's very much a sort of a block-based movement. A little on the touchy side. Oh, there we go. All right, interesting. So some slight visual cues there. Uh, let's see here. Hmm, interesting. Oh, not quite was that what I was expecting to happen there. Uh, hmm. Uh, yes, don't run across the obvious death zones there. Oh, okay, well. How does one get, or can one even, can you even get up there? figure out okay so there are ways of sort of jumping one space at a time seems like if you sort of move left or right when you after you've jumped you'll only go one space so that's Okay, well, I don't see any way to... get down there anymore. So, I guess I've failed. Hmm. Unless you can jump in... Oh! <laughs> also, don't fall too far! 
<laughs> okay, so I'm not gonna. I'm gonna give that another go. Kind of neat. Um, but I'm gonna start on the level that I failed at. This looks like it should be all right now. Oops. Um, right. Okay, so that should. Okay, so it's a platform puzzler, basically. Uh, let's see here. Oh, that's like instant. Well, oh, there we go. I see. All right. Ooh, don't. I don't know if there's a way to tell before you walk on it, if that's, if it's going to collapse under you or not. But some of them seem to collapse instantly and some of them seem to take time. That was close. Ooh, oh no. Ah, shoot. Right, and it's a start over from the beginning each time, which is not my favorite thing in the world, but there you go. Uh, Is it true that you can jump higher vertically, I wonder? It seems to be, oh yeah. It does seem to be true. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, come on. Seriously? So all I did was go to the bottom of that ladder. I didn't actually descend it. it and that's the end for me. That's a bit cheap, to be honest. However, so here's a jump up. Okay, so don't go to the bottom of a ladder if it's over a death square. Seriously? What the? Alrighty. So, some of these puzzles seem to depend pretty heavily on... the types of blocks that you're walking over, but I don't really see any way to tell what those blocks are without standing on them. So sure what to make of that, to be honest. Other than, I guess you have to figure it out. Oh, let's see. Okay, I guess, I guess, I guess maybe those ones there that don't have any bottom to them are, are uh, insta-disappearing ones, I guess. It's kind of so that control is a little finicky there too, but anyway, all right, it's interesting. A little, a little trickier than it needs to be in some ways because of imprecise control, but anyway, that's that's okay. I feel like it's not ridiculously bad. Just takes some getting used to. Okay, so how in the heck is? Oh, I see. Sort of. Okay, so I just tapped to the right there, and yet here I am, deceased. So that is mildly annoying to say the least. That kind of a thing will sort of will turn me off of a game, to be honest. If it's you haven't actually done anything sort of wrong in gameplay terms, and yet there you are, 
deceased. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Now, I guess I figured out how to do that bottom part. How about this top part? That The one, obviously that one hanging in there needs to be the last one, I guess. And... I still don't see any way to tell which blocks are going to melt away, but... I see one, where, one there with an instant collapse floor, but... But there wasn't, there's not really any way around that, I don't think so. Also, it had a sort of a backstop thing. There we go. All right, very nice. Uh, so the squares on the bottom right are what level you're on, based on the number of them, this being level five. So, whoa, 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 what was that? Terminal mistake? No. Shouldn't be. Oh, that was though. Oh, okay, so I guess I could have seen that. Just wasn't ob observant enough to. Uh, not I could have. It's it's. The clue is there. I just didn't see it. So I need to come around here and come up and do that. And okay, very nice. Now. Oh, no, can't jump there or I will die. Hmm, so we've got an insta-death thing there. We've got... Wow, this is interesting. I don't see... Okay, so we're going to have to come at that from the other direction. Obviously. See, that was a pretty bad miscalculation on my part. <coughs> oh. <coughs> Excuse me, I don't know where that came from. Level 6. How many levels are there in this? 13 or 15? Okay, let's see here. There's an insta drop square there. I can't go up that ladder. I don't know if you can jump off ladders, actually. I didn't try that. Oh, interesting. Whoop. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> you can jump off ladders. Uh, in that case, it was not very advisable. Uh, let's see here. I should probably get those two. Is that going to be too far to fall, though, I think? Oh, what happened there? That was odd. Alright, well, where did I get to level 5? Alright, we'll take one more step. Oh, I see. Interesting. I, I 
How did I? How did I? What? What? How? What? Why? Oh, I must have just fallen straight down there in the first place when I first tried this level. Just a moment ago. Okay. OBKB. Um. Hmm. partly a control issue and partly a partly a control issue I guess um, okay that is odd like that doesn't feel ah crumbs I think I I think by not moving right off the bat, I think I kind of blew my chances there. I guess we'll see. Oh no, I can still get that. Okay. Alright, so that's clear enough. thing that keeps happening twice now is dying there, but anyway, it didn't happen that time, so so that's good. Alright, get that guy and that guy. Come to here, and to here, and to here. Oh, whoop. Hmm. How do I get on that ladder? Oh, I should be able to go across the bottom, I guess. There and what? I need to get those things on the left somehow. Ah, shit. See, there's okay. I'm not going to keep complaining about it, but what happened was that uh, it just went too far and I. Honestly, basically just tapped on the thing, but it still went too far, so that is, uh, that is an annoyance for sure. Uh, let's see here. looking in terms of color. There we go. All right, what am I, level eight now, according to the squares? Yeah, there's a slightly different, like that top left diamond has a different sort of a highlight pattern on it, which is interesting. Not sure if that means anything. Ooh-wee, okay, so I could fall down to the right, I think, but I think I probably want to start by going left. And that was a mistake. What happened? I fell down the hole there. Uh, from jumping, so... Well, that says something too. It's at least at least fairly interesting. I guess you can move in the air if you're falling. That seems odd, but there you go. 
Okay, what's going to happen here? If I... No, I need to get those ones in the middle row first, right? Right. Now, I could fall down there, probably. Probably want to do that last, I'm guessing. Oh, that might have been a mistake. Yep, I think that was a mistake. <laughs> okay, I'm not quite sure what uh, what to do there, but I might be able to figure it out. Oh, maybe I need to do the left-hand side all in one go, and then get that middle one last. That's probably what it is. Okay. So, do that. Probably, probably I was holding down the fire button, I guess, which was a mistake. Okay, all right, I do not care for that, being able to adjust your path in the air by just because you're holding it down slightly, slightly, ever so slightly too long. I guess. Maybe that's the last one. Must be. Okay. All right. Controls are just slightly too finicky for my tastes, but uh, obviously it captured my attention for 23 minutes. And uh, I think that's a reasonably solid look at whatever this game is called. Caverns of the Lost Miner by Backtro 2007. All right. Yes, that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks very much for watching. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time.